Okay, so um, good day everyone. This is our last topic under me. Uh, so for those who just joined, we are now in topic three. So kindly review uh, topics one and two. And just a short background, I am Ray Castillo. I am your mentor and presenter for the topics one to three. And we are now in our final topic, the business model canvas. So without further ado, let's proceed. Uh, some of the expectations, okay. Um, Yung pinaka mahaba na discussion is topic two, which around which is around thirty four minutes, but I hope this one will uh, be at around thirty minutes lang. And again, the concepts will be discussed uh, for you to be able to apply it in your businesses or ano pa yung mga businesses na may isip niyo. Again, the concepts are important para hindi kayo mawala. Uh, there will be some research, expect, na may mga research kayong gagawin kasi uh, we need some evidence, some output na hopefully, pag after na mga top, after na topic na to, meron na kayong magawa na business model. Then, uh, after the discussion, there might be some mentorship or at this point, maybe you were already assigned by the TBI sa mga mentors. And we may have different views, but the bottom line is uh, for this is for the improvement of your businesses. Okay, so as a review, uh, topic one talks about market validation. Yung uh, topic one also discuss part of the business model canvas, which is the customer segment. We did ask why. The cost of, when we talk about segments, these are the possible buyers. However, the best thing to do is to look for the target market. Sino ba yung mga buyer talaga ng product ninyo? Then, the topic two, discuss the value proposition canvas, wherein you learn the, the customer profile on your right side and the uh, value map on your left side. However, the important thing is what's that in between? The two should fit, meaning your value map should fit kung ano yung needs and wants of your customers in the uh, right side, which is nandyan yung gains at, at, at yung pains at saka ano yung mga jobs ng mga customer. Um, I also uh, created a an example of uh, how to convert your the results of your value map into a in a paragraph form para maisulat nyo dun sa value proposition as one of the components of the business model at mass. So let's start. So the topic three, uh, final topic under me is around uh, is about uh, the business model canvas. Uh, this is Sorry, uh, nagising si Bixby. Anyway, um, this is the, the model that was presented or the canvas that was presented by Osterwalder and Pignure. So the, the references, kung gusto nyo magbasa talaga ng book, the business model canvas by uh, Osterwalder and Pignure. Okay, so... As presented, there are nine components. The customer segment and value proposition na discuss na natin. Then you have the channels, the customer relationship, the key resources, the key activities, the key partners, cost structure, and the revenue stream. Um, what was the intention? Hopefully, you will gain knowledge on what to write in each block or in, in each component of the business model. Then, understood the connections. Yun, yung pinaka-importante ito. Understand the connections of the nine building blocks. And learn techniques on how to use each block to assess the current situation of the business. So, dalawa yung situation natin. Actually, you can use the business model canvas for startup. Yung talagang, talagang right from, from scratch, from zero. 
but you can also use the business model canvas for uh, an existing business. So, pwede nyo actually gamitin yung business model canvas para itry nyo tingnan kung ano yung model ng existing competitors ninyo. Or yung gusto nyo gayahin or gusto nyo uh, um, emulate na business. Okay? So, um, hopefully, mag may magkakaroon tayo ng business model presentation. Uh, maybe an initial one because at the end of your program, meron pang pitch wherein you still have to present some of the components of the business model canvas. However, since this is the foundation, this, these topics are the foundation, yung topics 1 to 3, kailangan nyo talagang malaman ano yung mga blocks or uh, components ng business model para pagdating nyo dun sa, sa, sa pitch, meron kayong mga inputs. Alam nyo kung saan nyo hugutin yung mga sagot or yung ipipitch ninyo. So, again, I am... Uh, telling you na uh, magagamit itong business model pagdating nyo sa towards the end of your journey. Okay. So, look at this beautiful house. This is, siyempre, designed by an architect but built by an engineer. So, kung titingnan mo, siguro, hindi ito ang view ng engineer but this is the view of the architect. The second slide, the next slide was, ganito siya ginawa ng, ng mga builders na yan. So maybe the one on the right side was, on the left side was the architect, on the right side was an engineer, but this is the whole process. Bottom line is, ginawa siya ng dalawa. Magkaiba man yung view nila, ginawa siya ng architect at saka ng maybe the civil engineer. So, the business is like that. May foundation, may simula hanggang matapos yung, yung business. Hanggang matapos yung model ng business before you even implement the business. So, yung iba, ginagamit yung business model canvas as a way, uh, as a guide before they implement their business. So, question now is, what is a business model canvas? So, simply say that this tell a story of how you create, deliver, and capture value for your organization. Kanina, yung, yung, kung titingnan mo tong difference, kanina, yung value proposition canvas, not kanina, sorry, uh, the topic two, yung value proposition canvas tells that the, tells the story of how you create value for your customers. Now, this time, this is the business model canvas is yung buo. Tells the story of how you create, deliver, and capture your organization. This is the business why. While yung topic two natin kanina is yung the customer why. That's why it's called now a business model canvas. As you can see, your business model canvas has uh, nine building blocks. So, nam present ko na yan kanina. And as an example, sinabi natin na meron tayong health conscious chefs and keto uh, restaurants as our customer segments. Um, ang mali ng slide na to, it's because, okay, this is tip number one, sinadya to na ilagay. Ang mali ng, ng slide na to, it's because hindi mo ipopost ano yung product mo ay propose mo sa value proposition is kung ano yung i-offer mo again to the customer. So, uh, I hope hindi kayo nawala. I hope you're still following from topics 1 and 2 because at this point, the value proposition written is for the health-conscious individuals. If you review my video in topic 2, sinabi ko dun, yung keto at saka yung isa is pwede nyong gawa ng value proposition canvas. Pwede nyong isalang sa value proposition canvas. So this time, ang example natin, health conscious customer segments. And ito yung nagawa natin in uh, topic 2. Result ng topic 2 natin uh, wherein we 
the value proposition is an affordable cookbook app that helps you become healthy and fit with more than 1,000 plus delicious foods prepared by well-trained chefs. Or the best user interface, which limits pop-ups to one and a location tracker to provide the best possible cost of raw materials needed. All of these were cal called out on the gains creator and the pain relievers. And again, nagkaroon ka ng gain creator at saka pain reliever because tinignan mo kung ano yung gains and pains ng customers mo. Okay, so nire-review ko lang kayo. So, ang tanong ngayon is, how do you deliver yung value proposition mo dun sa target market mo or sa customer segment mo? And that's what you call channel. So, the channel describes how an organization communicates with and reaches its customer segments to deliver the value proposition. So, there are ways. So, pwedeng through your sales force, pwedeng web sales, pwedeng may, tinda, may sarili kang store. So, medyo hindi na siya good ngayon because of the pandemic. Then, you have partner stores. Then, pwedeng meron kang wholesalers. Then, bakit po siya kailangan? Kasi nga, you need to raise awareness. You also need evaluation by the customer. So, see, this is still a business model, but if you but if you implement this business model, andyan pa rin yung evaluation by customers. E di ba yan yung topic one natin, market validation. Even nga tumatakbo yung business mo, nasa launch stage ka na, you still need the help of the customers to improve your business or to improve your product. So that's one. Number three, know what specific products, customer segments, uh, they are buying. So, yan, malalaman mo yan through this channel. Then, deliver, deliver your value proposition. That's the main. Then, post-purchase customer support. After channel, let's say, for example, nilagay natin Salesforce and web sales. Tapos na tayo. The next one would be, how are you going to maintain yung customer segments ninyo. So, it describes the type of relationships an organization establishes. So, kailangan yun yung relationship with your customer segment. How? Provide help during sales process. Pwede yung ganun. Provide after sales services, dedicated personal assistance, like for example, ginagawa sa bank. So, na, meron yan sila mga dedicated personal assistance. Then, we have self-service. All are already provided. And, uh, you have Customized services, so fit mo sa ano, sa ano yung gusto ng client pagdating niya dun sa store mo. Or ano yung gusto, meron siya iti-check. Ano yung gusto nila, then gagawin, gagawin ng, ng business. Then create online communities, engage customers to assist in product design. Bakit mo siya kailangan? Because you need to acquire customers or you need to retain customers. So it also it's also needed to boost your sales. So that's your customer relationship. The keyword there is how are you going to maintain? So example, in our customer relationship, we may provide after sales services, online communities for health conscious, and customized services. So kung gusto nila ng salad na okra lang lahat, okay, walang problema. That's customized service. So that's an that's an example. The next one is your revenue stream. Ano yung revenue stream? Represents the cash a company generates. Pag gagawin mo lahat yan, yung, yung, uh, yung nasa up sa right side, then for sure, magkakaroon ka ng pera. And this may come from sale of a product or paggamit ng product or meron kay mga usage, usage fee or kung merong subscription or lending, renting, leasing, and kung nagpaparenta ka, kung may pa-licensing ka, brokerage, or advertising fee. So, it's up to you. Uh, however, be careful using advertising fee as a revenue stream. Kasi baka ano, ang, ang example kasi natin is cookbook app. So, kung merong uh, mag-pop up, 
Kasi sinabi natin dyan na may isa, limit lang sa isa. Siyempre, kung magpapa-advertise siya, dapat may ma-earn ka. So, part siya ng revenue stream mo. Okay? So, why? This is to generate cash. Know, know the contribution of the product to the whole product portfolio. Okay? And know how much customers prefer to pay or currently pay. So, tingnan nyo guys kung ano yung pagkakasunod ng discussion ko. I started with customer segment. Then, ano yung may offer nyo sa customer ninyo? That's a value proposition. And the next one was the channel. How do you deliver? The next one is how do you maintain, which is the customer relationship. If you do all those things, you will earn. And that's a revenue stream. So, an example natin dito sa... Ang example natin dito is... Uh, sale of up one time payment and which is 199 per account then advertising fee of 5 pesos per appearance so isang appearance lang yan kasi isang pop up lang so yan the next one is we go to the left side of your canvas The next part is your key resources. Yung key resources natin, it, ito yung mga resources needed for you to be able to, again, deliver and maintain your customers. So, yung word na deliver relates to channel. Yung word na maintain relates to relationship. That's why in this case, the example was, uh, gagawa ako ng, uh, magkakaroon ako ng computer equipment, uh, I'll have some video recording equipment, then I have some office and a sales force, sales force of two. Kasi related dun sa channels at saka sa customer relationship. And the activities that I will be uh, doing is, of course, creating the app, selling the app, communication, communicating with the customer segments, that's part of channel, Training Salesforce, web app, uh, training Salesforce para naman uh, yung mga Salesforce natin, alam nila paano bibenta yung product, and web and app maintenance. So, may mga examples na ganun sa activities. Then, you have the key partners. Ano ba yung key partners? The network of suppliers and partners that makes the business work. Um, most probably, hindi kaya ninyo natin na mag-start agad ng business without partners, without the help of other uh, institutions, man yan, or individuals. So, this can be through strategic alliances or competition. Nangyari ito sa last, uh, sa last, ba last batch, yung first batch. Um, yung isa, meron siyang um, product na kailangan niyang i-advertise. Yung isa is nag- uh, boom, uh, nagpapa advertise ng product through yung mga, mga monitor na pwede niyang i-post kahit saan so na, na nagkakaroon ng collaboration so competition then you have some joint ventures then supplier relationship bakit ko po gagawin syempre kailangan mo ma-optimize and uh, kailangan mo yung optimize ma-optimize yung uh, yung reach ng business niyo and the economy of scale also. Then, you have the reduction of risk and uncertainty and of course, acquisition of a particular resource and activities na wala ka na baka pwede mo makuha sa kanila. So, that's key partners. So, in our example, pwede si Yusuf TBI which is now helping you uh, developing your product, improving your business ideas and hopefully, you'll be able to launch your product successfully. So, you have you have TBI as an example, the DTI and the DOST. Okay, the last component of the business model canvas is the cost structure. Ito yung mga cost incurred to operate a business. Lahat ng cost na may incur nyo if you operate this business. So, simply list the cost that will be incurred by the business. Para alam mo kung ano yung cost. And ano yung mga resources na makikita mo kung ano yung mga resources na ah, medyo magastos to, mahal. And pwede ka makapag-adjust. 
So in this case, let's try uh, meron kang uh, in your investment, purchase ka ng computer and video recording equipment, you have the office construction and with kitchen, you have the monthly cost or variable or fix, which is the salaries of employees and transportation expenses. So if you look at it, uh, now we have created a picture of your business canvas. But wait, there's more. So baka hindi nakita, pagita natin to. But wait, there's more. Dito napapasok yung mga tips. Hindi pa yan kompleto. Again, if you remember my discussion in value proposition uh, in value proposition in topic 2, I presented to you some of the mistakes na ginawa ng ginagawa ng mga students, uh, ng mga professionals kahit sa mga extensions namin. So I'm just sharing it to you. Uh, tip number 1. Look of look at the connections of each components. Kailangan makita mo yung connection. Bakit mo yan inilagay kung hindi naman siya connected sa other components? Connected na ba lahat? Okay. So there is a note. Let's assume, my notes sa uh, uh, lower right, Let's just assume for the meantime that the items in the right side of the canvas are okay. Okay? The right side. These are the uh, customer segment, value proposition, channel, customer relationship, and the revenue streams. So, okay, that, tingnan natin kung okay ba sila. Oh, before pa pala natin magawa yan, yung kanina, yung key resources, yan lang. Eh meron pa palang chef, web specialist, and or layout artist. After sales for FB maintenance and customer service staff, kitchen, for demo, videographer, patent, marami pa palang kailangan. So you have to look at that. Okay, so check kung yung computer equipment is magagamit siya for web sales, for video recording. Yung office naman, kasi yung value proposition mo, kailangan mo ng area. Uh, sales force, yes, para mabenta mo yung product mo. Yung chef, yung web sales, yung after sales. Yung kitchen for demo kasi meron kang chef, a videographer para sa, para sa recording and of course yung patent. Eh, bakit andyan pa si TBI? Ang makakatulong si TBI niyan for the patent. So look for connections. That's tip number one. Another tip. Let's just assume that maybe they can help in those, itong key partners mo. Yung CDTI, makatulong siya to train the personnel. Yung CDTI, pwede siyang makapag-provide ng kitchen. Si DOSD, pwede siyang makapag-provide ng computer equipment or office. And si TBI, makatulong sa inyo magpapatent ng business or ng product ninyo. So, Aside from looking for the connection, yan, uh, aside, you need to ask for help kasi hindi lahat ng mga resources or activities kaya ninyo. It might be na kailangan yun ng tulong nila. That's why you need key partners. Okay. So, what if they cannot help? Then, Okay, sorry. Na uh, mali yung ano. Mm. May mga marami pang connections yan guys. Okay. Ang tanong dyan, ba, what if kung hindi sila makatulong, anong gagawin? Okay. 
Okay, so sorry for that. No? So, kung hindi sila makatulong, yan yung problema natin. So, you need to add more key partners. You need to look for investors. So, that's why you'll have, you'll have to be trained with the sales pitch. Paano yung inibibenta ang, ang idea nyo yung, at saka yung product nyo. And in general, the business. So, another note. Try to compute for the cost. Estimates will do at this point. No? Pero kung meron kayong CPA na kay kakilala na pwedeng mag-compute, no? pwedeng mag-compute ng lahat ng to, uh, then better. Okay? Uh, an initial research would also do, for example, how much is the cost of the per of the staff, the personnel, ano yung mga salaries nila, pwede yung ma-research actually. So, it's just, for example, example, the uh, if you if for example you add cost structures three to nine, lahat ng mga cost na yan, except five in this case since it is a uh, one time creation, you came up with 1.5 million monthly expenses. Then you need at least 7,352. 1.5 million divided by 199 plus five. Okay, kasi 199 the one time payment plus the lagay na lang natin na for every pop up meron kayong 5. So kailangan niyo ng 7,352 up sale per month para makapag break even kayo. That's the question. That's the beauty of doing the business model canvas kasi at at a glance, pwede niyo pwede niyo makita na uy, ah uh, parang hindi yata feasible. Parang hindi yata kakayanin ng business. Dito nyo na ngayon marirealize na ang ganda ng idea ko, pero medyo may kulang pa on how to run it as a business. Okay? Kasi bottom line guys, kung magpapatakbo man lang naman kayo ng business na losing, maybe you can do it one, two, three months. Pero pag losing na yun four, Five, five months of operation, six months of operation, magsasara kayo. So, much better na at this point pa lang, gawin nyo na yung tama. You try to compute as much as possible. You play with the components of the business model canvas. Okay? So, that's why yung tip number four, you may want to redesign your business model. It may turn out, okay, pag redesign nyo na yung uh, provide after sales, you don't need a sales force na. Kasi may provide after sales, uh, you don't need a sales force since the product can be sold online. Or, you don't need a sales force since the product can be uh, Hindi mo na kailangan as the key resource. Kasi online naman. So, ang kailangan mo lang actually is maybe a web developer. Or, you don't need a chef after sales and stuff or videographer. Pwede mo silang i-hire lang not, not on month, uh, hindi yung monthly yung salary, but kung merong, meron lang uh, preparation na gagawin. Or, you don't have to train a lot of person, personnel, but maybe just the web marketing specialist. Or, you don't construct an office but just rent. You don't need to construct an office but just rent. Or, you don't... Sorry for the words. Medyo may mga naputol na mga ano. May mga naputol na uh, words. So, you don't need a video recording equipment since you don't uh, even have a videographer. So, it turned out, wala na pala yung iba dyan. Okay? But if we delete them, I won't be able to deliver my value proposition to my customer segments. Kung i-delete na natin yan sila, kasi sabi natin, hindi siya essential. Ano yung gagawin? Eh, pwede natin gawing key partners, si chef, si videographer, si after sales provided by the BPO. Pwede nyo silang itap. Now, that's the beauty. Pwede nyo i-change tong 
mga nagawa niyo. But you, not, you did not change your product. You just change how your business works. So, ganun yung diskarte. Another one, uh, yung after ko, af additional cost, mawawala na. Okay? Kasi, mawawala, mawawala, mawawala na rin yung ibang activities kasi key partners mo na sila. And then, the new design does not alter how we deliver to the customer. It only change how we do business. So, yan yung pinaka-key and gen, guys. Uh, look at this side of the business. Very minimal change. As long as you already understood your customer segment, their jobs, their gains and pains. Minimal na yung changes dyan. Actually, yung gagastusin natin is nandito sa left side usually. So, kung alam nyo na, okay, kung alam nyo na yung right side, pwedeng, marami kayong pwedeng i-play sa left side. How to do it. Okay? So, uh, hindi, hindi lang, ano, hindi lang, once na nakita nyo na, siguro maganda na, uh, you need to test it again. Okay? Kanda consultation with experts. Pakita nyo yung mga business plans na nagawa nyo. After too many deliberations, maybe 100 na yung ginawa nyo na business model canvas dyan. Uh, huwag magkampante. You might want to ask, okay? Ask uh, experts kung may ibang view ba, titingin -titing kung ano yung uh, ano yung pagkagawa ng business model ninyo. So, para, yan yung tip number five, you always continue to improve until you are satisfied. Even if you are satisfied, it might be on the view of your target market, on the view of someone else, maybe may kulang pa. So, always be open-minded for the improvement of your business. Okay, that's tip number five. So, uh, bottom line guys, kanina, pinresent ko sa inyo um, yung, yung bahay na ginawa ng architect at saka civil engineer. So, why do we really need to study this? You have the architect, you have the civil engineer. The, um, the, let's say that the design is for the architect. And for the technologies, for the civil engineer, bago niya mabuo yung bahay. Bago, ma, bago maging maganda yung, yung output. In this case, kasi business tayo, you need the two components. You need knowledge about business. And paulit-ulit kung sinasabi, you also need to understand your market. Saan kayo dyan? That's you in the middle. You are that diamond shape. Because at the end of the day, you are that diamond in a rough. You are that and techpreneur. That's why you go and techpreneurial. Okay? So thank you guys. I hope you learned uh, from topics one to three. And if there are questions, clarifications, um, that the Yusef Aguilab TBI can give you my uh, contact details for you to be able to contact me. But I'm sure there are, there are a lot of mentors na pwedeng magturo sa inyo. May mga advisors kayong pwedeng uh, uh, pagtanungan kung paano. And uh, we all hope for the best and for the for the best of your businesses, for your product and um, uh, for the success also of the incubation program of the USEP TBI. Uh, thank you. God bless. Stay safe. Bye-bye.